people asking uh, for the next two weeks to halve the number of our international um, overseas arrivals. I think this is uh, very important for two reasons. The first reason is we want to be able to concentrate on this contact tracing. But secondly, we are actually seeing large numbers of positive cases that are coming in. Like basically every day over the last fortnight, we've been seeing five or six cases and uh, the health minister will give more details. But we're almost at the capacity of our hospitals that we were during the peak of the pandemic. Um, that's not to say our hospitals can't cope, they will be able to cope, but this large influx that we're seeing in the high rates of um, people coming back, return travellers being positive, for the next two weeks I'm asking the Prime Minister to halve our number of um, overseas returning travellers and I'm quite sure that he'll give that due consideration um, as soon as possible. What is that part of it's about 1300 so we're just asking for the next two weeks just while we get everything under control and the fact that we are seeing these as i said uh, every single day we're getting our uh, positives out of hotel quarantine premier um, are the other states justified in um, uh, declaring brisbane a hotspot look that's that's a matter for them uh, we are not seeing um you know large-scale community transmission it's just the close contacts we're very uh comfortable where we are at the moment and if anything changes, we will update the public. Hey, what's your reaction to uh, the football in Geelong last night? Where um, there's been criticism that it took so long, it had to happen, and what actually occurred at the ground? That, that's really a matter for them. That's, that's a matter for the Victorian government. The new close contact has tested positive. Is that a family member who lives with the 26? I'm understanding it's a friend. Different, yeah. Different household. Okay, at one of the venues already listed, but eating lunch at the same time? It was a close contact, yep. Could have been at their house. Yeah. 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 And we did only have 6,000 tests. I know you said that was triple the number in Brisbane. Yeah. Would you like to see more testing? We'd always like to see more testing, but that's a really good um, indication that Queenslanders are responding, especially in the southeast here. Um, so we do want everyone to do the right thing. So thank you for everyone who's come forward and got tested. And if you are at home and you've been to any of those places and you're sort of thinking, oh, I'm not feeling too well, don't think about it, go and get tested. From your, how serious is this on the scale of what we've seen to date, this, this latest situation? Oh, look, I think uh, everything's always of concern, but you know, we've learned a lot over the pandemic. Our contact tracing is in place. We've got excellent contact tracers and uh, everyone appears to be doing the right thing. But like I said, we really want people from that Carindale shopping center that were there for that particular period of time to please come forward and get tested. I mean, that's pretty crucial so we can we can rule out any further community spread. And what's the advice for mummers of Italian restaurant um, escalated to more high risk? Yeah, I might get the health minister to address that. Okay. Thanks, Sue. Um, what we do know is cafes and restaurants are higher risk because people are sitting there for a period of time. What we learned in the last 24 hours is this gentleman had actually been at the restaurant for almost three hours. Um, and so consequently that means that there's greater risk and you know, the Chief Health Officer's uh, advice and Queensland Health's advice was that anyone who has been at this restaurant between those times on the 21st, the last Sunday, should quarantine for 14 days irrespective of whether they get a early negative result from any test. So they still need to go get tested but stay at home for 14 days. We do know these sites are at risk. Um, just on the issue of the testing, uh, although we're seeing uh, you know, testing numbers around the same as what we did the day before, we have had a look and we've seen a significant increase of people coming out getting tested, both in Metro North and Metro South areas. So uh, we've seen probably a decrease uh, elsewhere in the state, but where we need it most, which is here in South East Queensland, in uh, Northern Brisbane and Southern Brisbane, people did come out in significantly more numbers yesterday, get tested and we thank them and we ask them that to continue that over the weekend. How's the record tracing at the Redcliffe restaurant? Have you been able to find all the details of people there at that time on QR codes or is that why you're asking so people to I've, come forward? I've asked that question today and that work is still ongoing to see uh, how the restaurant has gone with its uh, checking in. Uh, but of course, while that contact tracing is ongoing, we say don't wait for the call come forward uh, and quarantine yourself and get tested. But uh, assuming that everyone has done the right thing, there should be a comprehensive list of everyone who was there for the three hours last Sunday that we'll be able to contact. But don't wait, get yourself into quarantine and go get a test.
Minister, should the Tourism Ministry have any concerns in the lead up to Easter about you know, potential lockdowns? Or oh, look, the Premier's already answered that. You know, one day at a time here, we're very happy with the response where um, the position we're taking at this stage. Uh, we've learnt a lot over the last 12 months, as the Premier said, and we believe the restrictions we've put in place at the moment are adequate based on what we are seeing. And of course, the next 24, 48 hours with the contact tracing will tell us more. Last one. No, so we do have genome sequencing back and the first three cases, so the person who came from overseas, the transmission event in the hotel to another person and the transmission to a healthcare worker at the PA hospital, those three genome sequences are exactly the same and are exactly the same as this gentleman who's tested positive who lives um, in North Brisbane. So those four are the same, which suggests that there's probably, given timing, one intermediary between the first um, healthcare worker and this gentleman, we believe. There could have been two. They're the things that we're going back and looking at. We've um, rechecked all of those up to nearly 900 contacts and all of those were tested uh, negative. Those are the contacts of the healthcare worker. So we're just looking at where else there could have been some transmission. There's every chance we won't find it because we know people, of course, can get infected and be totally asymptomatic and then pass it on. So we just have to work that through. The most important thing, and will give us the answer, is that anyone who's sick in Brisbane comes forward and gets tested. People shouldn't think just because they haven't been to one of the venues of concern, they haven't got it. They need to come forward, anyone, anywhere in Brisbane or Moreton Bay Regional Council who's unwell with any symptoms needs to come forward. That's really important. Dr Young, can I just confirm, have many of the close contacts of yesterday's confirmed case with a negative result yet? Uh, we've had four so far, so we're just going through all of that information this morning. It would have come through overnight, but we've only seen the one positive. Thanks, everyone. Premier, can I take one question job to come comes off tomorrow? Yeah, I was just going to mention that. Yeah, yeah. Just want to mention off tomorrow. Yeah. Just to yeah, look, thank you. And that goes back to your earlier question about tourism. Um, having been up to Port Douglas and Cairns and sat down and spoken to our tourism operators, they are absolutely concerned about the fact that JobKeeper ends tomorrow. I still call upon the federal government and the Prime Minister and the Treasurer to please look at some further targeted assistance for these particular people. Uh, they work really hard, they contribute to our economy, they've got families to feed. Some targeted assistance for people in this industry would not go astray. Premier, Queensland MP Andrew Lamming, he laughed about the policy made in Parliament. Should he be sacked? Uh, I am very concerned that any MP would go about trolling. I mean, that's not on and it's disgraceful. So that's a question for the Prime Minister. But honestly, in this day and age, the trolling has got to stop. I think it's about time that as a nation, we actually came together and started talking about ways in which we can stamp out these practices that are having detrimental effects on women, on children and other people um, in every walk of life. Now, gone are the days where people used to write letters to the editor and put their name and addresses. I think it is absolutely a coward's way to be trolling people without putting your name to it and the practice must stop. Now, going back to your earlier question, for an MP to be trolling is absolutely disgraceful. Okay, thank Thanks, you. Thanks everyone.